print-on-demand t-shirts like these have earned sellers hundreds of thousands of dollars in just one year. And the best part? You don't need to be a designer to get results like these. In this video, I'll show you the latest methods available to create your own designs using free AI tools. I'll break down the pros and cons of these techniques and then give you a powerful solution to simplify the whole process. Hopefully by the end of the video, you'll be ready to get started in this ever-expanding business. Now these are vintage design t-shirts. As you can see, they are really simple but also quite memorable. Some of them include the slogan, but others feature just a monochromatic graphic with no text. When it comes to t-shirt designs, you don't need to overcomplicate it. Just focus on what's working and start with that. Now these are super easy to create if you have the right tools and I'll show you three different ways to make them. This design has been exploding on Etsy recently and there are many stores selling some variation of the same concept already. This one specifically has made more than $23,000 in sales and if we go check out the store, we'll notice that it has been open for just one year and in that year, they've already made more than $170,000 in sales. This just goes to prove that the print-on-demand business is far from saturated. You just have to put in the work. I honestly don't know many businesses where you can make more than $172,000 in sales on your first year. And as you can see, they have done the work, more than 500 listings. And you can do all of this from home. The print-on-demand business means that you don't need to handle any inventory or ship any products yourself. You'll be working with a print-on-demand provider to have it print, package, and ship your designs every time you make a sale. Meaning you could start this business with no money up front. The key to success, however, is consistency and high volume. That is why in this new age of print-on-demand, being able to create multiple high-quality designs quickly is a competitive need. This makes using AI pretty much mandatory at this point. Now, to put this into perspective, here's another store that sells this awesome design, and it has also been in business for just over a year, and in that time, they made over $227,000 in revenue, that is with 700 listings. Now, there's really only three elements that go into this kind of design. You got the text, you've got the graphics, and of course, the slogan. Now, the bottleneck here used to be the idea, the fact that you have to come up with something original. But now, thanks to AI, this has come from being the hardest part of the process to becoming the easiest. So, let's say you want to create a slogan design like this. What you can do is upload an image of the design directly to ChatGPT and then ask it to give you several ideas on similar slogans. If there's something that you like, you can always ask the AI to expand on that idea and generate a whole new set of slogans. This way you can steer the conversation in any direction that you like and you end up having tons of original ideas in a matter of seconds. Then, you can ask it to create a graphic element to go with that idea or to develop the slogan alongside an image. So you could technically handle the entire brainstorming process, testing, and final design all within ChatGPT. Now, let's say that you have already found a design that you like, but now you want to create a revised version of it. The easiest way to do it is to simply screenshot the image that you want to use as reference, drag and drop that image into ChatGPT, and ask it to create a slightly modified version of that design. I also like to clarify that this design is going to go on a t-shirt and it should have a transparent background. Now, in just a few seconds, the AI will create a really high quality image of this cat and UFO. You can then introduce modifications to customize this design and give it your own personal spin. Like for example, I can ask ChatGPT to change the UFO for a Star Wars Star Destroyer instead and let's see what it does. Okay, that's pretty awesome, honestly. I mean, I wouldn't use this for copyright reasons, of course, but it just goes to show you that you can easily swap elements in the design and make it your own. Like, for example, you can change the cat and do a copy bar instead. Again, the options are endless. This also works on designs with text. So if I wanted to replicate this t-shirt, for example, I can do it easily and I can even ask it to replace some of the elements in the design. I can change them completely, add new elements or take some out. And you can even change the actual text, let's say to 1990s instead of 1900s. And if we hit enter, it'll do a great job. Now, it used to be the case that if you wanted to create text designs with AI, let's say about a year ago, the results were just awful. But today, AI got so good that they got the text sorted out. So this works for sure and it could be the fastest way to create designs inspired by successful products. However, there is a couple of cons to using AI that you should know about. First of all, you lack a great deal of control. So if I wanted this text to be in a slightly different position, or maybe I want to play with the size of the different words, like in the original design, there's really no telling how many iterations and prompts I would have to go through to get it just right. It could be many, and that's just for the text. The other big con is that you can't really use this image as it is. If we download it, we'll see that the image is only 1024 by 1024 pixels. And if we go to our print-on-demand provider to check out the actual dimensions our design should have, we can see that they should be much bigger. So this means stretching the image and losing quality in the process. Now, there is a third issue, which is that coming up with designs is not all you need to do. You also need to put them on mockups if you want to sell them. And you can't really do that properly with ChatGPT. If I 
I ask it to put this on a mockup, in most cases it will change it slightly. And this of course is not acceptable because design consistency throughout mockups is key. So, on top of AI, you're going to need a tool to enlarge your designs, put them on mockups, and maybe even customize them easily. So, the solution is to use a method that has all the pros of creating amazing AI designs while also giving you full control over those designs. And there is a platform designed to do just that. So, this is Kittle, a tool that has been tailor made to build your print on demand business from scratch. And I'll show you how you can use it to handle everything from designing, customizing, and even setting up your mockups all within this one place. So, how do we create something like this using Kittle? Well, since what I want is to combine AI image generation with more control, what I do in these cases is create the image using AI and then manually add the text. So let's give it a try. So go to Kittle and click on New Project, select T-shirt and click Create. Now to get started, go to your left hand side and you'll find all the tools you can use to create your designs. By default, the templates tab will be open and here you can choose from an endless library of fully customizable designs. However, in this case, we want to create a design from scratch using AI. So we're going to click on Kittle AI and here's where this platform shines. If you open this drop-down menu, you can choose from many different AI engines that are integrated into Kittle's platform, ChatGPT and DALI being some of them. This means that you can access those tools from Kittle directly without the need to pay a separate subscription or have a separate account. So we're going to choose ChatGPT and here you can write your prompt and choose the style of your image as well as the amount of images you want to create. So let's do four. As a style, I'm going to choose vector vintage drawing and type in my prompt. So a raccoon drinking coffee on a paper cup. We hit enter and there we go. Now these images look pretty close to our reference honestly, but they are completely new. And this took just a few seconds. So I'm going to keep this one and now we're going to manually add the text. So we go into text and add two headings, one on the top and one on the bottom. We change the text as well as the font and the size and then we're going to add some transformation to make the text arch over the graphic. There we go. And because this is already a vector image, we can easily change the color of this design to create different variations in just one click. No need for extra prompts or waiting. And if you look closely, there's one final touch we could add, and that is this sort of worn out texture that actually makes the whole design look vintage. So with the artboard selected, we're going to go to our left hand side again and into textures. Here we're going to go into alpha mask selection and choose a mask like this one. Now we go to the right hand side and change the blending mode of the texture to alpha mask. We check mask texture and there we go. Now this looks absolutely phenomenal in my opinion and it only took a few seconds. The great thing about this platform is that you also have integrated mockups too, so you can quickly see how your design actually looks like on a t-shirt. So we select the artboard again and we click on mockup. So search for t-shirts and you have tons of options to choose from. This makes the whole workflow of creating designs frictionless and super efficient. So what do you guys think? Now in the case of a design like this, for example, again you can create something just like it but this time using graphic elements from the illustrations tab. So we're going to search for something like retro circle to use as a base. Okay, so something like this could work, and then we'll add some random 90s elements like a cassette tape, maybe an old stereo, some headphones, and a Walkman. Now these are all customizable too, so we can easily change the color of each one of these to have a consistent color palette. Then we're going to add the text, we're going to give each line a different size and a different color as well, we'll add some shadows and outlines, and there we go. What do you guys think? It does take a bit more work, yes, but you gain total control in return. You can change colors, sizes, position, and everything in between. This design also includes a vintage faded texture, so simply go into textures again, grunge textures this time, and choose the one you like. There we go. Now we can group this all together, select our artboard, and click on mockup. And if you like the way it looks, simply click on download mockup up and you're ready to upload your listing to Etsy. Now let me show you one last tool that is going to make your life much easier. Let's say you like your design and would like to try different variations without spending your entire day manually modifying every aspect of it. You can select your artboard, go to your right hand side and choose add smartboard. This is really cool because you can describe the variations you want as a prompt and quickly have a new design created. So let's try something like make the colors more vibrant while keeping the design cohesive. Okay, take a look at that. It did what I asked but it also changed some of the elements. But the new elements are definitely in tune with the theme of the design. So definitely a tool worth experimenting with. So this is what I would recommend if you're just getting started. AI alone can get really frustrating really fast with all the trial and error involved. Instead, every single tool you need to create awesome designs is fully integrated into this one platform. And you can get a pro account for only $10 a month. That is half of what a ChatGPT subscription costs. And that's for an endless portfolio of templates and tools, including AI. If you want to give it a try, make sure to use my promo code to get a 25% off on your first month or first year on all of Gilly.
needles paid plans. If you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. As always, I'll be more than happy to respond to every single one of you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and drop a like in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.